hip 90-90 position for the trail leg in internal rotation. To get into that position, simply start as you see me here. You're going to let both knees fall to the same direction. From there, you're looking for three 90 degree angles. The first is between the two thighs at the groin. The second and the third are at the front and back knees. From here, you are going to focus on sitting as upright as you can. And you can use your hands for support. You're still facing the front. At that point, you will probably start to feel some tension develop in this trailing hip, kind of in a C shape around this back hip. The trailing leg is positioned into internal rotation, and that's what we want to emphasize. To emphasize this tension and to move deeper into that range, you can, again, keeping your trunk as upright as you can, rotate to try to face this trailing leg. My hand will shift around this way to give me some support as I hold this position. At that point, you'll feel a lot of tension develop kind of in this deep lateral hip area, maybe deep in the posterior hip or even in the groin side of this, of this trailing leg. If you cannot find that tension, one thing to check is to make sure that your knee is not too bent. A big bend in the knee is going to release a lot of that tension. So get into your position where you feel the stretch, move as deep into it as you feel you can, and hold this position. 